Hi guys, let's work on this very quickly. Okay, so we have um, 2 to the power of 4 plus x to be equal to x to the power of x. Okay, so let's take a step. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of x. And this is equal to x to the power of x. Now we take the next step. Remember, we can always divide this by 2 to the power of x. So that if I do that, I'll have here over 2 to the power of x. And on the right hand side, I have um, 2 to the power of x. Now, 2 to the power of x can cancel 2 to the power of x. And we have 2 to the power of 4 on this side, which is equal to x to the power of x all over 2 to the power of x. Okay, I'm going to work on the right hand side. Here we have 2 to the power of 4, and it's equal to. Now, because we have the same power, I can combine them. So I have x over 2 to the power of um, x. Okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do, at this point, I'm going to multiply the left-hand side by um, 1 over 2. I mean multiplying the power. So I have 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 1 over 2. Remember, what you do on one side, you have to do it on the other side. Okay? We have x here multiplied by 1 over 2. And then from here... 2 can always go into that, so it will give us 2. So I have 2 to the power of 2. And this will be equal to x over 2 to the power of x times 1 is x, and this is over 2. And at this point, we will begin to compare. We compare the base and then compare the powers. Now, we understand that 2... If I'm, if I'm to compare the bases, 2 is equal to x over 2, right? And from here, this is over 1, we can cross multiply, so that x will be equal to 2 times 2, and x is equal to 4. x is equal to 4, and then if I'm also to compare the powers, we'll have that um, 2 is also equal to x over 2, and if I do the same thing, x will be equal to 2 times 2, which will give us 4. So x is still 4. So therefore, we can conclude that the value of x is equal to 4.